I'm holding a piece of paper here with the 11 universities which provide fully funded program in English, master's degree, for anyone admitted for this particular university for English program in master's degree program. So stay with me up to the end of this video if you are looking for scholarships in United States of America. This is whether you are American citizen or you are international students. You are so welcome to apply and to get to these opportunities. So, when I'm talking about fully funded, I mean you don't pay school fees. School fees will be paid for, and then on top of that, you are given what we call the stipend to cover cost of living. And in the U.S., there is what is famously known as assistantships assisting certain duties and responsibilities within department in order to receive stipend and mostly will be 10 to 20 hours per week and you get a stipend so let me go direct to these universities i will be mentioning which university what they offer where that university is okay let's start with the first university is florida state university in florida Okay, so if you apply to the Florida State University, it is in the city of Tallahassee, whatever, in Florida, the majority of students in the graduate English program receive support in the form of teaching assistantship. Teaching assistants are provided with a stipend and a waiver of, for most of their tuition. Experienced TAs are often invited to teach during summer term for additional stipend. And there is a website for the assistantship or this particular program so at the end of this video just go to the description of this video i'm going to post the, all this information with the name of the university or the name of the particular program and the link you can be able to apply so that you can be able to get this scholarship is that nice nice I mean, that is nice for me okay then we go to the oregon state university in the great state of oregon okay all students admitted to the MA in English program will automatically receive a standard graduate teaching assistantship contract which provides full tuition remission and a stipend of approximately 12300 per year to cover living expenses. And there is a website for the University of Oregon. If you, ad you get admitted at the University of Oregon in the program of English, you will be automatically receiving assistantship. Whether you are American citizen, whether you are African, whether you are Asian, whether you are European, it doesn't matter the background, the nationality, as long as you get admitted. That's how you get it. Then, University of Alabama. In Alabama, students admitted to the graduate program are guaranteed up to five years of full financial support. All admitted students qualify for graduate assistantships, which include stipend paid over nine months currently, at current rate is 14,125, and the full payment of up to 15 credit hours of graduate tuition. That's a very good deal. Then there is the University of Kentucky in Louisville, I mean Lexington, Kentucky. MA students are offered teaching assistantships in the Department of Writing, Rhetoric, and Digital Studies for stipend plus full tuition remission and student health insurance. There is a website here I put there. Then University of Idaho. Our graduate students are offered teaching assistantships, all of which are fully funded teaching assistants as uh, TAs receive instant and outset waivers, so you don't pay school fees, and teach a two to one course load and receive substantial instruction support from our director of first year composition, whatever. Yeah. Then, University of Louisville in Kentucky, Louisville in Kentucky, the department awards up to 10 graduate teaching assistantships to our top MA applicants each year. MA graduate assistantships run 10 months and offer tuition remission, insurance, and stipend. University of Maine. We award 21 teaching assistantships each fall, with approximately half of these usually assigned to new students. 
Recipients teach one section of first year composition each semester. They receive stipends approximately 15,000. This is for this fall from this August 2019. So next year it might continue, might go up. For the nine month school year, as well as tuition remission for each semester, and for two summers, six credits while enrolled in the program. Then, University of Mississippi in Oxford, Mississippi, Ole Miss. Is, for, is this university known as Ole Miss? My friend uh, Neymar uh, is studying now PhD uh, at this university, University of Mississippi, Ole Miss. And uh, another person is also Tanzanian, is studying there uh, for masters in uh, ling English, linguistic, whatever. So he's having this assistantship. So I know for a fact people are getting them. So, University of Mississippi, or in Oxford, Mississippi, unlike many master's programs which are oriented primarily towards tuition paying students, the English department at the University of Mississippi offers funded master's degree enabling us to attract qualified applicants regardless of means. Then there is a website there to apply. University of Wyoming, in Wyoming, a full time student, all full time students, Admitted to the program, receive full funding, including free tuition, teaching opportunities, and generous living stipend. In Wyoming, Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, Virginia. Select students in MA, uh, MA graduate programs are funded by graduate assistantships available through Department of English. These are awarded on a competitive basis and are generally renewable for up to two years. Then, WVU, West Virginia University, it is in Morgantown, West Virginia. I lived in West Virginia, one among the most beautiful states, which was my first time to live in America, was in West Virginia. But I didn't live in Morgantown. Morgantown is a little bit far from, but I was study, I was teaching uh, as a Fulbright scholar at Marshall University in Huntington. And Marshall University is a very big rival of West Virginia or WVU. So all the time, it is back and forth between WVU and the Marshall University. So every student admitted to the MA program is guaranteed funding for two academic years, the customary time to a degree. As a graduate teaching assistant at that time, it will be two years, that means. This position includes an annual salary of 16000 a waiver of university tuition, and the student health insurance. <coughs> that is WVU or West Virginia University. So the whole page, all these pages, the list of all these 11 universities, I'll be posting them on the description below to be able to know which university I've been talking about because it is difficult to go along and the link you can be able to apply. But if I go back, there is a video I already explained on how to apply in America. So if you're applying whether master's or PhD, you have to take the English profession test. If you are coming from a country which is not native language, the main language is English. I'm talking about UK. I'm talking about Australia, New Zealand, whatever, Canada. But if you are coming, because there is one guy, I remember a couple of days ago, it was yesterday, if not mistaken, he called me, oh, I don't need to take a trophy because uh, my language is English. You are from Ghana. Yeah, I'm, I'm studying English. No. Is English the language you are speaking in your village? If no, that is not your language. Okay, you have to take the English proficiency test. So you have to take the English proficiency test. Then you have to take the GRIE. This is the book for GRI, Graduate Record Examination, this one. You can see. So that ex you have to take those two exams to be able to qualify to, uh, to get for most of these scholarships. So if you need more information about this one, I have posted like the videos here. You can see at the end here, I'll put some suggested videos about which exam you have to take in the English proficiency test. Should you take the TOEF or Test of English as a Foreign Language, American version? or British International English Language Testing System. Which one should you take? So you have to take the exam to be able to qualify of English and the GRI to be able to apply. There is no sympathy, it's a competition. So apply all the, if you apply for this, all these univers 11 universities, obviously you're going to get one. And that's what I'm telling people. When you, 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 you make so many shots on target, 
you are going to get at least one goal. And this is the technique usually is used by Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the technique is used by Lionel Messi. You see, he played 14 games. He had 25 goals, 8, eight assists. He had four, I mean, 88 eight shots on target. Lionel Messi had 77 shots on target. He had 15 goals. So the more shots you put on target, the more likely the probability of getting goals is higher. But if you don't make shots on target, you don't get it. So don't come here and apply, oh, I'm playing WVU, West Virginia University. Apply all 11 universities, you'll get at least one or two. And then you'll choose which one gives you good money or state you like mostly over the other one. You can do that. But before that, don't go and apply one university. Or just, oh, I can ask the waiver. There is no waiver for GRIE. Just go and apply. Take this test and be ready to compete, 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 compete. This is no sympathy. I usually tell people scholarship application is not a therapy session where you need to express your personal problems to seek for the sympathy. It is the survival for the fittest, just a war. You have to compete. Without competing, you are going to be wiped off. Others are going to get it. They will take a GRI. They will take the English proficiency test. And they are going to get it. They have good GPA. Yeah. So if you have any question about preparation, this examination, GRI, TOEFL exams, what are these? This IELTS exam, what is that? Put a comment below. I'll be able to share the link. Or even I can send you the book. Uh, like some of the links, you can get free books or free software. You can be able to practice these kind of tests. So what else do you need from these particular programs? If you have a question, put the comment below. Ask a question below. I'll answer your question. I'll try my best to answer all the questions and all the comments below. I'll be able to go through them and be able to answer them. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your continued support. Remember to subscribe to my channel here. There is a link here or oh, this small button, whatever. It's called the subscribe, YouTube subscribe. Click on that one. It will take you to subscribe to my channel. And I would appreciate if you do that, which will be giving me more energy and the opportunity for me to be able to support you more and more. Thank you again. Thank you again. Please remember to share the video to your friends, family, and everyone who is looking for scholarships. Okay? Goodbye. Salute, everyone, and all the best. And welcome to the United States of America if you win the scholarships.